Good morning. Welcome to this morning's webinar from EcoProd. I am just going to give this a moment or two to make sure that we have opened up the waiting room correctly and that I've pressed all the right buttons that I'm supposed to be pressing. Okay, I can see we've got people joining. Brilliant. So our session this morning, we're talking about uh, waterless urinals, specifically why choose waterless urinals for your washroom. Um, before I hand over to our presenters, a few kind of housekeeping points. We are recording the session today. Um, so once we're done here, we will get that processed and we will upload it to our website and we will send you out via email a link so that you can get the full video and you can also get a copy of the slides via the same link. So that email should be with you um, at some point this afternoon. Please feel free to watch, rewatch, pause, rewind, share it with colleagues, etc. Uh, you're very welcome to do that. Um, you will notice as you join that your lines are all muted automatically. So we can't hear you, so we can't take questions verbally, but we can take questions via the Q&A function. So if you kind of hover your mouse over the bottom of the Zoom window, there's a little Q&A button there. If you use that to ping questions over to us, I will answer what I can in the background um, as we're going through, but we'll also stay on the line at the end of the presentation and I will read those out of our presenters and hopefully get a bit of a discussion going for you. So you, we will answer your questions one way or another. Um, you will have seen the agenda when we sent out the invitations, but just as a quick run through, we will, this is the kind of order of service. We will uh, talk about the benefits of waterless urinals. We'll talk a little bit about how they work and how this technology is different from some other technologies you might have seen. We'll talk about the return on investment and also the broader water saving benefits as well as the environmental benefits. Uh, we will touch a little bit on the um, maintenance and cleaning uh, processes and the costs associated with those. Talk about how the washroom environment can be improved, a little bit about installation and cleaning, as I said. So. You have got three of us on the call today. My name is Rachel. I'm mostly in the background covering questions, making sure people are logged in correctly. I have uh, two colleagues with me. Um, Marcel, do you want to go and introduce yourself next? Good morning, everybody. Warm welcome to this webinar for a very interesting subject today. Um, I'm uh, in charge for marketing and sales at Urimat, Switzerland. I've been in the company for more than 20 years. My role is uh, marketing and sales and business development. And our company uh, was starting its business with the clear uh, mission to tackle the worldwide water crisis. And our business concept, as you will hear later, and clear strategy is to save the life's most vital resource, water. And within the last 25 years, our waterless urinals became widely accepted and ensure perfect hygiene and environmental protection in thousands of men's toilets around the world, saving billions of liters of valuable drinking water every year. Um, just one sentence in the UK, we have been collaborating with EcoProd for almost two decades. Uh, it's been an exciting journey so far, together with Marcus and his team, uh, where they could serve thousands of clients and support them with their contribution to green uh, environment. Thanks very much for organizing this webinar and having me today. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Marcel. As always, pleasure to work on these webinars with you. Um, I'm Marcus Rose. I'm the founder of EcoProd, which basically stands for Ecological or Economical Product. Um, we, you're going to hear a bit more about who EcoProd are and what we do uh, shortly, but just to give you some background, I'm actually a mechanical and electrical engineer by trade and training, and I started the EcoProd vision back in 2006 when we had the first spring drought in the UK. So you'll see from the infographic on your screens, uh, EcoProd is really based around the three pillars of use less water, waste, less water and recycle and reuse more water. We are obviously partner with a number of uh, global manufacturers. You'll see from the infographic, you've got Euromap in the center at the top, and that's 
really going to be the main subject of today's discussion around the subject of use less water. So why is water saving important? Well, it's very important. Uh, everyone would have been conscious of the, especially in the UK, of the impacts of the drought from last summer. Uh, it's not only climate change, but we've gone through a number of years of population growth and urban development. And as the second point on the slide suggests, we've got to reduce the amount of water each person uses per day from 140 litres down to 100 litres or even lower. Now, that is even um, more of a concern. We've obviously now got water neutrality uh, zones here in the UK, and even that 100 litres per person per day has got to be reduced. And the water companies are actually demanding a figure of 90 litres or less. But there's more to it than just the subject of uh, reducing water. Cutting water use also saves money and it greatly reduces your carbon footprint. Um, I don't think all of us really understand the amount of energy that's required to actually pump heat and cool water and the significant um, associated carbon footprint that that's associated with can greatly enhance anybody's environmental credentials and greatly help towards any ESG strategy. So where can we help you? Well, we're going to talk about using less water today. That's why it's in red. And then in, in line with that, you've got the two waste less water and recycle and reuse more water subjects that come up thereafter. Just a snapshot there for everyone uh, in the audience to see uh, some of the clients that we work with here in the UK. And I'll now hand over to Euromat, who's uh, Marcel, who's going to run the agenda today for the Euromat technology. Marcel, over to you. Thank you, Marcus. So just I would like to give you a, a short insight about um, our company, which you see on this slide. Eurimat um, is a leading manufacturer of environmentally friendly waterless urinals. This is very specialized um, production we have. Mainly the product come from Switzerland and Europe. It's all manufactured uh, in Switzerland and Europe. We are... Uh, developing, manufacturing, and uh, distributing the products through our partners around the world. We are an SME um, with Swiss origin. We have offices in Switzerland and Germany. We also have a joint venture in Japan. Uh, we have more than 25 years, or actually 25 years of experience. We are celebrating the 25th anniversary this year. So we've been quite a long time in this relatively young industry of the waterless urinals. Um, export uh, is in more than 40 countries. What we promise is CO2 neutral production processes uh, for the polycarbonate bowls. I come to that later. We have worldwide patent and technologies which we are offering and are exclusively partnered with EcoProd for the UK where we've had a long-standing relationship so far. The benefits uh, of waterless urinals, what our promise is, is an average saving of 100,000 liters of drinking water per year and urinal. Due to this saving, we have uh, a short return on investment. Depending on the water prices, it can be really short. Easy to retrofit. It's really easy to take any urinal which runs water today off the wall and install a, water, a waterless urinal. So it can be replaced anywhere. Uh, we have lower cleaning and maintenance costs, which I come uh, to this point also later on. Our concept is 100% eco-friendly, so no chemicals are involved. We lower the carbon footprint due to the water saving by around 350 grams per cube meter. So if you calculate that, we get to some figures on uh, later on. It's an interesting figure as well. And we have a refinancing option with advertising display integrated in this urinal. And anybody who chooses Eurimap, of course, has a strong environmental mission statement for their environmental reports. How do waterless urinals work? This chart you're seeing here is showing the ecological environmental system of Eurimat. 
So in short, it has four bullet points, which is the, the polycarbonate bowl, which is CO2 neutrally produced. Number two is the device itself, which is the water saving MB active trap, which makes it possible to run uh, urinal without water. Number three is a cleaning concept, which is purely microbiological, which is part of the solution. And number four, optionally, can finance actually the whole system by renting out the integrated display or use it for um, environmental messages. So we give this whole concept also a voice. The heart of the product is our MB Active Trap technology. This is also patented uh, worldwide. Urimat waterless urinals work with an MB Active Trap, which is an order trap system uh, based on a vertical membrane technology. This guarantees the odors uh, that odors are completely sealed away and is able to withstand both negative and positive pressures in the pipes. So it's impossible for gases and odors from the sewage system to escape. The membrane, it's actually a purely mechanical system. It collects the urine and channels it into the waste pipe without flushing, while at the same time sealing in any odors. There is a microbiological cleaning block integrated in the MB trap above the membrane. This helps to prevent buildup and deposits both inside the odor seal unit and the waste pipe. So as soon as fluid stops flowing through the membrane, it automatically, automatically forms an airtight seal. So it's 100% safe closure. What also an important point to this product is, is the life cycle indicator. As you see on the three pictures below, when the MB active trap needs to be changed, the life cycle indicator will let you know. So operators always know when to change the MB active trap as the MB cube dissolves and the red sieve appears. This is about the time to think about changing the MB active trap. So this gives more safety for the operators to know when to change the MB active traps. We have a wide range of bowls we are offering in different materials. We have polycarbonate bowls, as I've mentioned in the beginning. They are super lightweight. One urinal weights about 4.2 kilo, makes it extremely easy to install and to ship. The insulating effect of the high-tech polycarbonate prevents any residue on the surface. The non-porous surface prevents the growth of bacteria and the development of odors, which guarantees absolute hygiene. Then we also have a range of uh, different sizes of high quality ceramic bowls. They, you, they um, naturally are a bit heavier than the polycarbonate ones. The special ceramic surface prevents residues as well as bacteria growth and the development uh, of odors um, is very limited. So these are two types of materials uh, we are offering for the urinal bowls. Return on investment, we mentioned it. Ecology is only as good as it pays back uh, for many, for many uh, people who want to invest. Return on investment is a very interesting subject uh, as water prices are raising. We have a very nice reference uh, done by Ecoprod so I would pass over to you, Marcus, to maybe outline those uh, figures from this reference. Yeah, very good, uh, Marcel. Um, yeah, so uh, Tottenham Spurs, they trialled the Euromac technology in the old White Hart Lane Stadium. In the last season, uh, well, actually, the new build was actually taking place at the same time. And the stadium manager proved that or not only was there the water saving, but the product performed better than the existing water flush urinals in those washrooms. The cleaners found the Euromac technology easier to maintain, and 
the throughput through the washroom was actually increased, not reduced, because persons said they urinated quicker. So that's quite an interesting study for everyone to take into consideration. Now, the figures that everyone can see on the screen there, the 50,000 litres per urinal per year for Tottenham is a conservative figure. That's mainly because we weren't actually able to uh, exactly calculate what parts of the stadium were exactly going to be used for conferencing and other events outside of the actual sporting uh, events during the year. So those uh, gives the figures there of 42 and a half million litres a year saved at Tottenham. Then they're on a water tariff of two pounds 30 per cubic metre. So they had approximately a water saving of a hundred thousand pounds per annum. And now I was just going to go through another um, reference here in the UK. This is a manufacturing um, plant up in the Norfolk area. Now, you need to understand that in manufacturing, some process, processes use a lot of water, and there's some significant change here by installing Euromat waterless urinals. One thing that was significant was Anglian water, whose region this is within. What people need to understand is that water companies uh, look favorably upon companies that put in water saving measures. So if there's water scarcity or they have to use water saving um, stipulations like temporary use bans, which is hose pipe bans, etc., they'll look at companies favorably that were already putting water saving measures in. And this was part of the reasoning behind this company going through a whole process of a water strategy management and making sure that they were doing what they could in saving of potable water within their processes, but not only their processes, the early quick win was actually in their washrooms and Euromat was the first product to be installed. I'm now gonna hand back to Marcel, who's gonna go through the return on investment on media and advertising. Great, thank you, Marcus. So this was really uh, an amazing, uh, impressive example. 4.5 months return on investment. This is really, really an amazing figure. Um, on, we could even top that if uh, in some areas, uh, the media panel, which is integrated in some of our models, uh, comes into place. Uh, Urimat is not only water saving, Urimat can also be media. So with the integrated uh, media panel, Urimat offers an advertising medium with a wide reach in a clearly defined target group, which obviously are men, uh, which dynamically delivers real-time advertising messages to your customers via the internet. Um, we have uh, networks in Switzerland running um, in on the highways with the uh, own built CMS uh, software. We can reach the urinals, control them from our desktop and place the right message at the right time to the right people. So this is one of an example where we can uh, use Urimat as an income revenue channel if the display is rent out. But it can, of course, also, and that's done very, very uh, often, only be used as, a, as an inf infotainment or information panel where you can announce uh, your events or McDonald's, for example, in Switzerland, they use it to tell the people how much water they are saving uh, with, with those urinals. So it can be used as an environmental message. Um, the saving benefits with Urimat are listed here as well. So basically, it's a reduction of cost. It's drastically redu reducing your water bill, as the example Marcus mentioned before has showed impressively. Um, safety and health is an issue. Waterless urinals have no push button to activate the flush. So especially uh, post-pandemically, it's a very uh, safe product. Nothing is touched and uh, it's 100% contactless operation. Then blockages in urinals, it's a common thing with water flushed urinals. With the installation of Urimat 
operators can lower their maintenance cost as uh, no more waste pipe blockages like uh, um, happens with water flushed urinals are happening. So no buildup of lime scale deposits in the pipes will appear. So the result uh, is of course no overflowing urinals and there is also more safety uh, in, the, in the men's washroom. Then also the improved hygiene is a very important uh, argument. Waterless urinals generally improve hygiene in the washroom. With the absence of water, there are less bacteria which can develop. As we all know, water is life. Life means also bacteria. Wherever there is water flowing, some uh, bacteria are left, which tend to smell at the later stage without water and abundance. Of, of, of water, this will, will not happen. Then green building, if you want to get green building uh, credits for LEED or BREAM certifications, waterless urinals can help you to, to win points to get the certifications. This is an example uh, and a testimonial from Switzerland. Autogrill is one of the large Swiss Auto, uh, how you say, um, um, uh, uh, auto route uh, restaurants with around 50 waterless urinals at over 10 of their locations. They save about 5 million liters of precious drinking water every year. They also claim it also positively reflects in their costs. Since the waterless urinals were installed, they had practically no blockages in the drains. Especially in these heavy use locations, blockages are very often the case, but they could eliminate it. And also the positive feedback is worth to mention, uh, as we constantly receive positive feedback from our customers with regard to our environmentally friendly urinals, we will continue to use Urima products and would be happy to recommend them. So the water saving, the cost reduction and the positive customer feedback, of course, uh, make them happy customers. Water saving, other environmental benefits, the water, waterless urinals are saving the planet's most precious resource with annual savings of 100,000 liters. That, just to Marcel, that 100,000 liters, that's a very good benchmark, isn't it? We, we've proved that uh, nationwide here in the UK, that that stands true, that that is a very good benchmark to use it's so absolutely it's actually uh, it's actually a good a good um, average number uh, we have areas where they use double or more and some are less but 100000 is a very good benchmark this is really 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 um, a good average number we have an ecological cleaning concept and the active cleaner where we come uh, to this point a bit later, our label three allows to clean urinals without the use of hazardous and harmful chemicals. So it's green cleaning. It's a mega trend as well. Uh, lower carbon footprint. With every waterless urinal, you can lower your carbon footprint as the savings are about 350 grams of yes, CO2 so by 1,000 liters. Just on that point, Marcel, that is... That 350 grams is an industry used figure for the UK. Yeah. I do know now, because of the input from Professor Jacob Tompkins, that water companies in given regions within the UK, they will actually quote figures above that because their pumping and wastewater processes are using more energy. So we can actually define a figure per region now. Exactly. So the question of water saving, um, but also the, the carbon neutrality, the, the carbon footprint can be, can be improved by using waterless urinals. So carbon neutral production, Urimat waterless urinals, the polycarbonate ones are produced uh, in a carbon free production. We use only hydro energy uh, to run the machines. We have certificates for this, so it's a 100% green product, which is also recyclable, if not used anymore. 
Um, we have other environmental benefits to the product, less emission in transportation. If we talk uh, the high-tech uh, plastic urinals, there is less emission due to lightweight polycarbonate. The urinals are stackable and are shipped in boxes by two pieces. They can be shipped by mail, by the mail, by the normal regular mail. So you don't even use a truck to pick up heavy duty ceramics, for example. Also less liquid shipped around the area by using MB Active Cleaner because it comes in concentrated uh, form. It is diluted one in 20. What's an interesting uh, point to mention here as well is that uh, with concentrated MB Active Cleaner, we reduce plastic waste by 95% compared to ready to use cleaner. Because with any, any uh, other cleaner you use per liter, you use one bottle, we do, one, we do 21 bottles. Um, we do 21 uh, bottles uh, volume out of one single uh, plastic bottle. So this is 95% plastic reduction. When it comes to costs, it also lowers the maintenance cost in terms of cleaner uh, cleaning, urinals, waterless urinals are easier and quicker to clean uh, compared to traditional water flush urinals. They have no edges and flushing rims where bacteria and lime scale can develop. No lime scale buildup in the pipes. With waterless urinals, there are no more waste pipe blockages as without water flushing, there is no buildup of limescale deposits in the pipes, as limescale only forms when water touches urine. As a result, there are no more overflowing urinals. Considerably costs can be saved uh, in this area. Then Urimat, if not with, elect, uh, with, if not with a display uh, for, for marketing, uh, urinal of Urimat has no electricity. So there is no more broken electric parts. With waterless urinals from Urimat, there are no more broken flush sensors, which are costly and have to be replaced. Equally, no batteries have to be replaced. As in waterless urinals, there is no flush sensor and no electricity involved at all. This is another testimonial of the biggest retailer in Switzerland. It's Migros, Switzerland. This is like Tesco in the UK. Um, Migros, they uh, have been counting on environmentally friendly urinals from Urimat for almost 20 years, with over 100 waterless urinals installed in more than 50 locations. They signif significantly reduced the water consumption. And that's an in important or interesting one as well. Thanks to the waterless operation of the urinals, there is no longer any urine scale in the drains. So they confirm what we just said, which does thus reduces our maintenance costs. And since the waterless urinals from Urimat were installed, both the hygiene and air quality in our men's toilets have been improved. So they also uh, are a large scale customer uh, growing with us. Um, and uh, have long, long uh, standing experience with our products. Marcus, I think I can hand over to you as well here for your services, which you can provide to the UK. Yeah, I think you've already touched on it in the previous testimonial, Marcel. Yes. We've, we've got similar testimonials from a number of clients here in the UK where cleaning managers or soft services managers have actually written in and explained that the washroom environment is much nicer, it's more pleasant. And I think what people always remember about any premises that they visit, they will always go away with an impression of what condition the washrooms are in. So it's quite an, it's quite an important point if you want to portray that you look not, not only look after your staff, but you also want to actually look after every visitor that comes to your business premises or your location. And Euromat can help <clears throat> uh, um, quite considerably, especially in the gents' washroom, 
for that, that washroom experience. I'm uh, to this point, Marcus. I'm member of the Swiss Stadia Association. We have uh, several meetings a year. Uh, we were told also by them it's even they have to meet expectations of the fans, expectations of the younger crowds. People expect of a today's modern location to have environmentally friendly and conscious products inside. This is always one of the subjects they're discussing. It was an interesting yeah. point. That's very interesting, Marcel, because what we're saying to um, our clients and customers here is you let everyone know what you're doing. You know, put a, put a nice, clean message on the washroom wall and let your staff and visitors know what you're actually doing. And what we found is that it actually generates interest and it generates buy-in from everyone that visits your washroom. So it has a positive effect all around. Exactly. When it comes to installation of the waterless urinals, also here, easy to install. Uh, waterless urinals are easy to install due to the absence of flush control sensors. There is no electricity needed and uh, makes, makes installation much faster and easier. Short installation time due to that, uh, less than 20 minutes. It's about the time uh, you, you use or you need uh, to install uh, a waterless urinal, which is about less than half of the time used for installations of traditional water flushed urinals. Then everywhere installable. Everywhere we go in a circle of 100 plus meters, we have the opportunity to become greener in the men's washrooms because everywhere where they are urinals, urimat can be in place. Um, it's uh, always connected to the existing drain pipe. The water uh, income has to be cut off. Uh, but there is, we haven't seen any any location you would confirm that, Marcus, where a urimat could not have been uh, retrofitted or, or replaced. Yes, definitely. I can confirm that. When we quote connected to existing drain pipe, we're saying you connecting to the existing drain or soil stack. We would always insist and recommend that existing waste pipe is removed and the waste service to that drain or soil stack is renewed. Yeah at the time of the Euromat installation. Very important point. Yeah, and then just on the wall mounting frames, uh, we typically only sell those here in the UK, Marcel, for the ceramic bowls, because obviously the polycarbonate bowl is so lightweight, um, it doesn't need any additional um, requirement for a frame. That's correct. So That's that really the is that your experience in Europe as well? It's it's our experience as well. Even light, uh, we have lots of fast food chains. They have some lightweight building uh, walls and things like that. We can just put we can just put uh, a polycarbonate bowl there, uh, which is light enough to not use any any back frame in the wall. That's true. Okay, let's talk about cleaning and maintenance. For the cleaning of Urimat, we recommend MB Active Cleaner. MB stands for microbiology. Um, it's a special microbiological cleaning agent for cleaning and removing odors. The cleaner is eco-friendly. It works on a microbiological basis without in any environmentally harmful or hazardous substances. It's skin friendly and the active cleaner is dermatologically tested for skin friendliness and rated as very good. You've so it's a, a You've got a report on that, haven't you, Marcel? Of course, we have the certificates and everything. Yeah, it's it's all tested and renewed every year. So it can be looked up on our website or or it can be sent to the uh, uh, people who, who are interested. The, the great thing with MB Active Cleaner is it's eliminating bad odors. As MB Active Cleaner, uh, it's particularly well suited for maintenance, cleaning, and odor elimination in heavily used washrooms and sanitary facilities. Uh, 
it's a great value for money as it comes in concentrated version. MB Active Cleaner is highly concentrated and extremely economical. If you make the comparison, you will find out. It's it's um so the cleaner is microorganic, it's pH neutral, biological and sustainable. MB Active Cleaner contains microorganisms that penetrate the pores or joints and destroy any odors caused by organic residues deposited there, leaving a pleasant and lasting freshness. So it's not only covering bad smell, it's really doing something. It's working there due to the microbiology. It breaks down organic matters, which tend to smell at the later stage. That's the concept of the MB Active Cleaner. We've actually, Use, got, we've actually so, got some clients here, Marcel, that use it as their general cleaner because of the effectiveness of it. Yes, same here. We have a, a big concert hall uh, in Zurich, uh, Hollenstadion. They started to clean all their hallways, huge areas, just by the MB Active Cleaner as they want it to become also greener in cleaning and more effective. You, yes, okay, next one. In order to increase safety of the operation of Urimat, uh, we have invented the Urimat CS. CS stands for cleaning system. So we have launched the world's first self-cleaning waterless urinal. Self-cleaning means it supports the cleaning, the daily cleaning of a urinal automatically. This product is time and money saving as the Urimat CS with its fully automated individually programmable cleaning intervals help to save both time and money. So you can program whenever the cleaning uh, automatically will be sprayed into the bowl. It's fully automated. Operators have permanently predictable amount of cleaning work, which can be individually programmed, which not only shortens the amount of work required, it protects the drain pipes too. It's cheaper still than conventional urinals. They save considerable costs using this environmental friendly system, which uses no water whatsoever, but also time saving is also a considerable cost they can, they can save. Yeah, we've actually got a university client installing these this week, Marcel. That's great. Yeah. So great yeah, news. University in London. Okay, great. I spoke to their technical director yesterday. So he, had, he had some questions on the setup. Wonderful. We have uh, hospitals uh, having installed those urinals. We have, uh, but also camping grounds, uh, quite a few who uh, have high frequent uh, users, fast food chains who go through the toilet six times a day to control everything so they can forget about the urinals because it's done automatically. Uh, these are kind of locations uh, where this product makes a lot of sense. References. There is almost no industry where Urimat is not represented. Uh, we Every any public place you can imagine from sports stadia, shopping centers, cinemas, hotels, train station, any public buildings. But also, I always say the invisible urinals for the public. We have lots of office buildings, huge office buildings. You have some uh, examples, also nice ones in the UK, Marcus. I call them invisible because it's not visible for the public, but we have uh, uh, solid uh, customership also in, uh, uh, in uh, governmental offices, uh, office buildings, banks, insurance companies, and so on. Okay, thank you very much. Um, before I just move on to questions, I just wanted to draw your attention to a few other resources that we have on the website. Uh, we have a series of white papers that might be of use. One, a waterless urinals guide, but uh, two other sort of more general, a green washroom guide and a guide to saving water overall in your business. When you get the slides through, these will all be clickable links, or you can access them through the resources section on our website if you would like to get to them sooner. 
Been, that resource uh, library has been added to all the time, isn't it, Rachel? Yeah, there's new stuff going up there all of the time and uh, recordings of previous webinars and video guides and things like that. There's all sorts of stuff in there. Yeah. So I do have a few questions that have come in. If uh, if there are more questions, please, we do invite them. Use the Q&A function or the chat um, and I can read those out as we're going through. So, um how resilient are the polycarbonate urinals to vandalism in a sporting arena? It's a very good point, actually. Um, they are very resilient. We have lots of football stadia choosing the polycarbonate bowl due to its vandal proofness, I would call. Um, we have stadia, most of the Swiss stadia uh, are actually equipped with urimat, and I would say 80% of those are equipped with polycarbonate bowls. Um, it's not only due to the advertising display, which is another added value, but they chose Urimat polycarbonate due to the strengths of the material. Also in Spain, we have um, football club, um, the football club uh, RCD Espanol, for example, with about 350 pieces of, of those. Uh, you would never break a polycarbonate bowl uh, as a as a hooligan, I would say, in a stadium, uh, while ceramic tend to break. And uh, often you see uh, nasty pictures after a game uh, where vandalism is still unfortunately a subject. If it helps the person that asked that question, we do have the polycarbonate bowls in two prisons here in the UK. Yeah. OK, thank you. Uh, how long will a trap last before requiring a change? Ah, that's a very good question. Comes down to footfall. We say typically three to four months for across the industry sectors of customers here in the UK. We've got some customers where the trap is lasting six months, some even 12 months. So it, it will come down to footfall. Mm. What's your experience, uh, Marcel, in Switzerland and Germany? Yes. General restaurant two to three traps a year, I would say. Uh, we have higher footfall locations where it needs more. Uh, we tested, of course, uh, the MB Active trap. Uh, it was tested by a, by a university. Um, they found it's seven to 8,000 uses uh, lasting per trap. Thank you. Um... Are there any NHS organisations using these urinals? Yes, there are. Um, I can think of four NHS trusts off the top of my head that are clients of ours here in the UK. Are, have you got healthcare customers in Europe, Marcel? Um, yes, we hospitals for example yes yeah uh, yes lots of hospitals uh, in the visitors area we have um uh, uh quite a few hospitals using urimat even the cs system as i mentioned the the self cleaning um yeah we're we're present there okay thank you do these urinals come with any guarantee regarding non vandalism related repairs and what are the most common repairs, if any? I can't think of any time we've had to do a repair, personally. Um, we have had... Yeah, I mean, if we've had to supply a replacement product, it's usually been because of vandalism. I can't think of anything um, in all the history of using Euromat in the UK where it's been contrary to that. We can confirm that, Marcus, uh, from Switzerland and around the world. Uh, we hardly have any replacements. I've been in the company for almost 22 years. My first customer was a big fast food chain in Switzerland. Some of them still have the, or all of them basically have still the same urinals. We sold them 20 years ago. Okay, thank you. Um, has Euromat carried out any volume of liquid testing on the MB Active Cube, which could be quoted? 
it's uh, actually if if this is the question we've we've tested the 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 usage which also relates to the cube with the eight thousand uses where the cube is dissolved and the red sieve appears when the trap has to be changed. Okay, thank you. Um, could you explain a bit more about why there are no blockages with these urinals? Okay, so urine stones are only formed because of a reaction between uric acid and calcium in water. You've taken the water away, so you've taken the calcium away. You still will need to make sure that the pipework is cleaned correctly using the MB Active Cleaner because the process of the urination takes the MB Active Cleaner into the waste systems and the bacterial process, the microbiological process continues into the waste pipe work. So uh, a follow up question, are these urinals, are you saying that these urinals are 100% water free? Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, are there any grants available? Yeah, that's an interesting one. Historically, in the UK, the answer would be no to that question. Um, as a lot would know, there's been lots of grants available for things like uh, electricity and other energy reduction initiatives. Water being the poor relation, it's never really hit the radar. However, that has all changed in 2023. There are now grants available. We are working with, um, at the moment, about five of the water wholesalers here in the UK at the moment. Not the, This is not the retailers, this is the wholesalers. And we are working with them on grant funded schemes for the installation of water saving products. Now, that has never happened before. We are the, one of the first companies to do that with wholesalers. It is all means tested. There's certain criteria that everyone has to meet. It's all very transparent. And the grant funding is matched by the water saved. And all of the information has to be shared with Offwatt, if that helps answer that question. Yeah, yeah, it does. Thank you. Um have have these urinals been installed in listed buildings yes they have um i think probably we've got two listed building customers national trust here in the uk and english heritage yeah pretty major listed buildings uh do you subcontract the installations or are they all done by your own engineers no, they're all subcontracted, but the so all the subcontractors are vetted and managed through our quality assurance uh, program. Uh, they are in in effect representing EcoProd whenever they go into a customer's premises to carry out an installation on our behalf. Could um could somebody use their own plumbing contractor to do it? Absolutely, yeah. Um, we do you're a. Not tied to you're not no, tied no. to our suppliers, or no, 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 not at all. Um, we would uh, assist with the whole process of the installation, and we do provide a handover service as well once the installation is complete. Um, is there any generic grant forms that are available for the help in funding, and where can these be be found? No, there's no generic grant funding available. You will have to do it specifically with an entity, a water wholesaler, through an approved uh, avenue of which EcoProd is one. If the if the person, I think that was Nick who asked that. If you want to drop me an email, either on the email that's on the screen or to the to my email that you got the invitation from. Um, we can have a chat about where you are and if we know of anything in your particular area that might assist. Uh, okay, no problem, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think I have 
I'm just going to check the chat. I haven't got anything over there. I think I've reached the end of the questions that we've received. So um, I will draw the session to a close. Thank you so much, uh, Marcel and Marcus, for your presentation. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for attending. I will get this video processed. And as I said, we will get an email out to you as soon as we can with a link to watch the video, the Q&A and download the slides. Um, if you would like to get in touch with us with any follow up questions or, you know, to discuss your particular buildings or situation or location, we would be absolutely delighted to chat to you. Please drop us a line and hopefully we will see some of you again on a session soon. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you, Marcel, for your input. Thank you, Rachel.